Hello, I'm Tara Alderete, Director of Enterprise Learning at Money Management International, a full service nonprofit credit counseling organization. According to the Eviction Lab, an estimated 3.6 million evictions are filed each year. If you are at risk for eviction, it's important to assess your situation and options and identify resources that may be available to help. Eviction is a legal process that allows a landlord to remove a tenant from the property where they live. Most often, eviction occurs if a tenant stops making rent payments, but tenants could also face eviction if they engage in illegal activity or otherwise violate the terms of their rental agreement. It's important to review your agreement to be aware of any non-payment penalties, possible grace periods, and anything else agreed upon relating to eviction or lease termination. The eviction process can vary by state, but generally, landlords must provide tenants with an eviction notice, letting them know how much time they have to make payment or move out before an eviction lawsuit is filed. After the stated amount of time, landlords can file an eviction suit against a tenant and a court date will be set. On the appointed court date, the lawsuit will be heard by a judge who will rule to uphold or deny the eviction. If a tenant does not attend the court hearing, the judge will automatically rule in favor of the eviction in most cases. So it's important to understand the process as well as your rights and responsibilities as a renter. For a list of eviction laws by state, visit nationalevictions.com. And for tenant rights by state, visit HUD.gov. If you're having trouble making payments or facing possible eviction, communicate with your landlord or housing provider as soon as possible. You may be eligible for assistance in the form of reduced or suspended payments, late payment plans, or other options. Keep accurate records and communicate in writing when possible. And if you agree on a payment arrangement, be sure to get the terms in writing up front. Pay as much of your regular payment as possible, keeping in mind that unpaid rent or mortgage may have to be paid when assistance programs expire or repaid on some payment plans. So review and adjust your monthly spending plan to identify sources of additional income that you can put toward your payments to help you catch up. You may be able to fight an eviction order, so stay in your home or apartment if possible and attend your eviction hearing prepared with relevant information and documentation, including any payments you've made. Seek help if you need it. Low cost and free legal services may be available, so check with the Legal Aid Society where you live. And initiatives like evictionlab.org and the National Law Housing Project provide tenant resources and information all in one place. Finding yourself in a situation where you're unable to make payments or facing possible eviction can be scary, especially in uncertain times. But you're not alone. Here are some resources that could help. Visit nationalevictions.com to learn tenant eviction rights, the eviction process in your state, and to find resources in each state. HUD.gov provides information on rental and housing assistance. ConsumerFinance.gov slash housing, NHLP.org, and EvictionLab.org offer help and resources for renters and homeowners facing possible eviction. And to connect with a certified housing counselor, contact us at MoneyManagement.org. Thank you for joining me to learn more about this important topic. For additional financial wellness topics or to schedule a counseling session, Give us a call at 866-889-9347 or visit us online today.